All right, so this video tutorial, if you're brand new to Reason, uh, Reason 6 especially, and you've never opened it up before, you've never made a song before, it can look kind of complicated. So I'm going to be going through this, and I'm going to show you how to make a song right off the bat. And this is going to save you hours of learning. So just pay attention, and by the end of this video series, you're going to be able to learn how to make a song. Um using basic techniques. So, the first thing that you want to do right when you get Reason and you open it up is click Edit Preferences. <clears throat> and then, you're going to want to go through here. What I like to do is uncheck this thing that says Low Default Sounds into New Devices. So basically, whenever you create an instrument, it's going to load a preset into that instrument. And the preset is like this randomized sound and if you only use those then your music is not going to be very dynamic at all so leave that unchecked and then um, also uh, one more other thing that you're going to want to do usually is this this thing that says default song click empty empty that'll just make it so that whenever you start up reason you're going to get a default empty rack and you can just start making a new song right away <clears throat> um, let's see here there's nothing and this option you might want to that's up to you trigger notes while editing so you'll you'll know what that means later on and if you want it you'll know where it is so we got the general tab let's go to the audio tab and if if you're making instruments and you're pushing on your keyboard or something like that and you're not getting any sound out of reason make sure you go to this audio card driver and then pick the correct driver until you get the green check mark and also one other thing I might want to tell you is that this if you download a driver called ASIO for all that's like the universal driver that musicians that electronic musicians use um, inside of production software and basically what it does is it reduces delay so when you hit a key on your keyboard um, it'll trigger the note much more quickly rather than if you use your default sound card there'll be a slight delay um, maybe a few milliseconds but that does make a difference <clears throat> the sample right here this is more for the keyboard delay so the more to the left you push it the less delay you will have but after a certain point the sound is going to be all distorted and then if you turn it to the right, you can you can load more samples up in your song, but it's gonna uh, introduce some delay when you're hitting your keyboard. So usually, any given time, just try to have this as low as possible, but still have the sound be good. So right now, if I moved it right there, and I'm pushing a key on my keyboard right now, which by the way, if you can't see it, it's down here. So that's what I'm using. Um, so if I keep pushing that key and I'm moving this bar, you can see right there, that's a good sound. And there's less delay. But if, if I move it way over here, there's a significant delay when I'm pushing the keyboard. It's several milliseconds off. So I'm just going to put that right around there. That's fast enough. And so um, that's all that is. You don't really need to worry about anything else. The control surfaces... Very important. It, um, highly recommended it, that you get a keyboard when you're making music. It makes things much more faster and easier. So right now I have an uh, a Kai MPK 49. Um, you can also get those little tiny mini keyboards like you see on the screen right there. Those are really nice for when you're first starting out. Uh, but basically, once you down, you have to dry, you have to download the driver for your keyboard first, install it, do all that, and then once that's all done click auto detect surfaces and it'll try to auto automatically detect your keyboard you load it up and check use with the reason right there or you can click the add button and then just select your keyboard and then click find and then you know adjust those options until it finds it so but you're gonna have to do that bef after you install the driver and you restart your computer and then start up reason with your keyboard plugged in and then it should work and if it doesn't, and you followed my directions, I'm not sure if I can help you. So, But you can leave a comment in the comments. But I might not answer it. So, And then these other tabs, you're not going to have to worry about. It's just 
advanced stuff that you'll probably never use. So just these three tabs, just make sure you go through those really quick before you start making songs and you got that cleared up. So we are five minutes in this thing. Um, if you watch, actually, hmm, yeah, I'm going to spend another five more minutes talking about something and we'll go to the next video in, in after that five minutes. So reason is basically set up into three big main panels. So let's click File, New. I just want to make a new song and then close that other one that I was in. So let's just readjust this window. Okay. Hold on a second. Crap face. All right, here we go. <laughs> All right, so Reason is basically um, organized into three big panels. The first panel is this guy down here. You you have to click the little arrow. Uh, you have to click the little bar right here and drag it up, and you'll see that this area is the sequencer. This is where you're going to be writing all of your notes and organizing um, all the, the sequences of your music, basically. And then right here, this is your rack. So right here, we can load instruments and machines up. Um, and that adjust the settings on those machines to make certain sounds. So this is where you're going to make your sounds. And this is where you're going to organize your sounds. And then up here is at the very top, if you move along this bar here, every machine you make, it's also going to make a mixer panel. So I just made this Thor synthesizer, so it automatically made a track for that. And you can adjust the volume and adjust some certain EQ things. I never mess around with that at all. It's kind of new in Reason 6. I'm not very used to it. So I don't care. I never use that. So I usually just hide this. I'm going to be hiding that for right now and then go back to it later if I have to. Um, but yeah, that's basically that. A few more other things before we start making sounds. Right here, you can see this bar right here. Um, this is where you're going to move around your track. So left and right, it zooms in. Let's just say we wanted to draw a clip here. Um, bringing this out is going to zoom out the track and then bringing it in is going to just zoom in and then you can move it around left and right to navigate around your track. So that's what that is. I'm just going to erase that for now. Um, and down here is to a few more things I want to tell you is that this click button, if you, if you, if you push that button and then just play your track, it's going to give you a metronome. So that's very good when you're when you're playing notes on your keyboard because you can keep in time with the music. Um, and also this tap button, you can tap it and then it will adjust adjust the tempo. And you can also adjust the tempo just by pushing down on the arrow keys or double clicking it and then typing in your number. And then of course we got stop, play, and record. So, um, and then right here, this button, loop, uh, you can see here in the track, we have this left bracket and we have this right bracket. <clears throat> so if we zoom in, you can see it closer. And now if we click the loop button and we push play, it's going to play and then it's going to quickly go back and just loop that area over and over again. So that's nice when you're editing stuff. And uh, what else? This button right here, it, it changes basically the, the frequency of the bars. So if you click 1 16th notes, all, it basically divides up the track in 16th notes. You can do 32 notes, 64th notes. Uh, right now I'll leave it at 16. So that's good when you're editing notes um, and you want to make certain tweaks to them. So that's good when you're editing notes and you want to adjust the length of certain notes or where they start and stop. Um, this is very good to fiddle around with. Um, and then these tools, um, 
I'm going to tell you about in the next video. And also in the next video, I'm going to be showing you, finally, I'm going to be showing you more of this panel where you can make your instruments. And we're going to build a song right off the bat within under an hour. So if you're brand new to Reason, this should be very helpful to you. So click the link and go to the next video, and I'll see you there.